come down, but it'll just get back up. So you use your dagger, and you collect their sand. Like that. And by collecting their sand, only do you slowly increase the amount of sand you can hold. Oh. It also recharges the amount of time I, I, I can reverse time. This is basically what you can do with the dagger. One theory I had is that, you know how these guys just seem to warp back in? I thought that perhaps you're not really fighting new enemies, you're fighting the same ones again. That's a theory I had as a kid, because it's always the same amount of different coloured enemies. It's always the same three guys. And it looks like they're time warping back in with the way they move. I mean, not the way they move normally, I mean the way they move into battle. But that's just my thoughts. So come on, guys. Are you even going to hit me? Oh. You made you went and hit him for me. But a lot of people did used to say that the combat is pretty boring. And it is relatively simple. It's not the most entertaining part. The best part is the platforming. Because every enemy has a combo which you can destroy them instantly with, like these guys. A AXA, AXY does it no problem. Oh, and here's those sand things. These here, these basically give you a short glimpse of the future. And it's it's the real future. This is what I'll be doing in the near future. You can, I could actually use them as previews for my next parts. Coming up in part three. Then I get to save. So as you can guess from what I said before. Oh, ah. Done. I'll start the story from here next time. You start the story from here next time. So yeah, those are also save points. So that means that is the end of part two. So, thanks for watching up to this point. I can see it by oh, don't go revealing stuff yet. That's for part three, Prince. So, that's the end of this part. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in part three. Cheers.